All right, number nine is a great problem. QRST is a parallelogram. Now, if it's a parallelogram, we know opposite sides are the same length. Opposite angles are going to be congruent. Okay, so we know all those things. It says, what are the coordinates of vertex S? So we got to figure out where is that guy located from the information they've given us. Well, looking at the picture, I know what's this length here. It went from 0, 0 to C0. So we don't know how far over it went. But I know the length, if that's a 5 or 6 or 7, that length is going to be 5, 6, or 7. So this length is C, which means this length is C. Some unknown number. Could be 2, could be 5, could be 10, whatever. We don't know. So if you're at A, B, and you move to the right C units, well, that's your X values A. You've added C value to it. You've added how many ever units you've gone over, 5 or 6 or whatever. Your height hasn't changed. So there's our answer. It's A plus C comma B. Because again, the height is going to stay the same. We went to the right C unit. So I took my A value and added C to figure my new number right here. So which of these choices? Oh, right here it is. A plus C or C plus A comma B. Choice D.